Yeah. Okay. Pay attention. Right. Now you've just done a workshop called Deadly Moons yeah. here yeah. in um Bree Colini School in Blanchetown, Dublin fifteen. Yeah. Did you like it? Yes. yes. I did. You did? Yes. yes. And wh what did you learn do you think? About moons. Yeah. The way they're all like I there's one hundred and forty in Ireland. I mean in the world. <laughs> 140 moons in the solar system yes. or thereabouts, maybe one or two more by the time we're finished. I learned that the cut-off piece was the Terminator and the round piece was um, the limb. Very good. And, and what, what else is on moons? Craters. Craters, Craters yeah. With volcanoes. mountains in them. Volcanoes, yeah. yeah. Do you loads. remember which moon had the volcanoes? Um, oh. Io. Excellent. And, and which moon did you draw? Um, I drew the um, our moon and lunar left. Eclipse. Oh, very good. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. What kind of colours were on that? Um, red, orange, yellow and white. Did you put any detail in? Um, yeah, I done shading around the edges. Oh, very good. And did you put in any craters? Um, or was that too hard? I think it, it was too hard. It was too hard. Yeah. Did anybody do Enceladus? I, I, did. Did. I did. I did Enceladus. You did Enceladus yeah. as well. A lot of people did Enceladus. What did you, th what did you think about Enceladus? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah. And did you get in all the, the, the water exploding out of it? Yeah. Did you fill your whole page? No. No? How was it just, was it your page just, big and... Yeah, I filled like half of it, so... Half I your did. page? Yeah. And did you get to write down the name of the moon? Yeah. Yeah. And um, what do you think of moons? What do you think they look like in general? Big circles and <laughs> round. <laughs> they big each circles. Look different. We know that the sun lies, like, if it hits off it, it's a full moon. Like oh, <laughs> good. I you learned quite a bit, didn't you? Some of mm. them can be nice and some of them can, can be, be disgusting, kind of ugly. Yeah, like, yeah. Ugly. Vomit. Looking. Oh, vomit. The w and which one was that that looked like vomit? I.O. I -O. <laughs> the one that looked like poo was Atlas. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God, well, you know. I.O. You? looked oh. like a gone-off pizza. Yeah. A gone yeah. off pizza. With pepperoni on it. With <laughs> yeah. pepperoni on it. But what, what, are, what is all the black dots that's all over I.O.? Um, the um, dark the dots. The... Volcanoes like the things. Oh, I don't know the word. <laughs> Volcanoes. So you what's your name? Hakeem. Hakeem. And so you're right. What, what's all over Io? Volcanoes. How many? Can you remember how many? No. Five. No. <laughs> hundreds. Hundreds. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. <laughs> what, when, what moon did you draw? The Enceladus or whatever. Enceladus. Yeah. 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 What did you think of it? Interesting looking. Interesting. What about our moon? Our we moon. had some pictures of our moon. On oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Like half. No, not half. Like a quarter. A quarter? Yeah. First quarter moon? Yeah. The what first else? The last quarter moon. We had what? The last quarter moon and when it's it? almost over. And what else did we have? We had the craters on the moon and we, had, we learned about the sun beating off the moon when it's full and half. Excellent. And can anybody remember the... Um, the name of the line that separates daytime on the moon from nighttime on the moon. The Terminator. Excellent. I didn't hear that actually. The what Terminator. The Terminator. Terminator. Excellent. That's absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. So we all came down to Drift and Blanchetown from school today to do a moon drawing uh, program here, Deadly Moons. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you draw? Um, minus. Minus. What did you draw? Titan. What did you draw? Enceladus. Enceladus. <laughs> what did you draw? Enceladus. And what did you draw? Enceladus. And what did you draw? Atlas. Oh, cool. You draw Atlas. And um, what did you learn about moons? Or you know, did you did you learn anything new about moons? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we learned that most moons are some moons are made of um, ice. I think that's really interesting. Wow. And what, what did you learn out here? What um, did you find interesting? The line in between day and night and the moon is called a terminator. Excellent. Did you know that before? Yep. Now, now when you look up at the moon, you'll be able to recognize that for yourself. But did you kind of find anything particularly... Um, that uh, Jupiter has a 62 moon. Wow, that's amazing. And did you find anything particularly, you know, what kind of interested you? The Connemara names on um, some moons. On Europa. Yeah. And what, what did you know, did you find that in particular um, interesting or the way there's around hundred and forty nine moons in the solar system. Did you not know that before? No, isn't that cool? And um you know about Aramoon, did you learn anything that you didn't know about Aramoon? Uh, 
him on the side. Lim is the line on the side of the moon that joins. It's the furthest point you can see on the map. Well, it's the curve. The curve, the curve yeah, the yeah. And what about craters? Did you learn anything about craters? I learned that there's many craters on the moon, and on Mimus there's one huge one that could have split the moon in half. Excellent. And what about Galileo? Did do you remember anything about Galileo? And yeah, he found uh, four moons, and um, one of them was called Europa. Excellent. And he found them through a telescope, telescope that was almost the size of a five cent piece. Yeah. Wow. And um, anybody else remember anything else about Galileo and International Year of Astronomy? He discovered I O, and it's been 400 years since he discovered them That's this year. That's excellent. Yeah, you remembered all that. And did you enjoy using the pastels? Yeah. 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 What did you like best about them? The blend. The that you could put them both together, and you could put them in, and they would come really out nice together. Yeah, nice blending of the colours. Aren't they? They're kind of better than crayons, aren't they? Yeah, way better. Are they way better than crayons? Yeah. 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 Did you ever draw with them before? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, in school we did um, some stuff with the um, pastel. Okay. And did you ever draw using black paper before? We did, yeah. 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 And how do you find the black paper and the colours? It looks cool. It looks cool. It's different. And it's easier to cover the whole page. It's easier to cover the whole page. There's no spots missing because it looks mm. like it's in black. It works way better with moons because the moons are, they mainly come out at night so it looks like it's actually in the darkness. Oh, that's a good point. That's a nice point. Yeah. yeah. That's terrific. So listen, thanks very much. Okay. Uh, this is Deirdre Kerwin here in uh, Gold Colony, Blanchestown. What do you think about this whole effort this morning? I think the first thing that struck me about it when it was proposed was I was absolutely delighted to see that the area of science and art were being combined because unfortunately we tend to look at this type of knowledge as if they're in two separate areas and mm -hmm. in fact, you know, to see it as a holistic integrated kind of program is really much better because each one depends on the other and there are elements of both in each. Yes, yes. As I was saying to the kids, you know, observation is common to art and astronomy. Yeah. You know, and yeah. um, it's really and even evident. The chemical makeup of the materials that are used in, in art, that, that's scientific. And then the, the creativity that, that art can release in people is obviously very needed for the scientific Absolutely, area. Absolutely, yeah. For to forge your head. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks very yeah. much. Okay.